is Kenzie. I'm a sophomore at UK, majoring in special education, and I'm the primary handler for Miller. He's a eight month old golden lab from the new girl litter, and he is a male. Four Paws for Ability breeds, raises, and trains service dogs. They train service dogs for a multitude of reasons. Um, the most common ones are multi purpose service dogs, veteran service dogs like PTSD dogs, autism assistance dogs, mobility assistance dogs, seizure alert, and diabetic alert. Primary and secondary volunteers are so important so that the dogs can get the socialization that they need in order to become a good service dog and be prepared for every situation that them and the handlers may encounter together. So as a primary handler, it is my main responsibility to provide every single bit of care for Miller. So I feed him three times a day, I feed him three times a day, I brush him, I give him baths. Another one of my main priorities is to socialize him in order to make sure that he is ready for every single social situation that he would encounter as a service dog. So that can be from going on walks outside, walking past birds and squirrels, to going to high distraction environments like the zoo or the aquarium and just really preparing him for any single situation that he may encounter. Socialization and obedience are two of the most important things that we teach these dogs. Through socialization, it helps them be confident in every single setting that they may encounter. And obedience doesn't just look like them walking in a good heel. It consists of all of their commands and how well they are able to perform those commands in different settings. So right now, Miller and I are working on his implied stay. So my main goal for him right now is for me to put him into a down and me to be able to walk away and him to still hold that command for X amount of time. Um, and then depending on the dog's age, those commands vary and the length that they can do them varies and all that stuff. So if you see a service dog, either a training or a certified service dog, whether it's around campus or in public anywhere, do your best to not acknowledge the dog whatsoever because even if they are in training, they are still working dogs and you never know what the handler may be working on with them. And so just whenever you're in public and you see a working dog, whether they're in training or they're actually working, just do your best to ignore them and pretend that they're not there for the safety of the dog and the handler involved in yourself as well. Today is graduation day. Brady has been in advanced training for 18 weeks and today he finally graduates as a service dog with 10 other dogs who are with clients from all over the world. I wanted to be a primary handler because of the difference that I was going to make in someone's life. My previous foster, Bradenton, is graduating as a seizure alert dog, and I just think it's really cool that I was able to be a part of his journey and helping someone's life to change forever and impact their like quality of life a lot more. From detecting seizures to helping an individual walk up and down stairs, they are quite literally life-saving dogs.